Getting to grips with a manoeuvre of a different sort, the Transport Secretary in Derbyshire meeting one firm putting its engineering expertise on the map. Designed and manufactured here in Ashbourne, these electric tugs are used to move around goods at some of the UK's biggest companies. But half of their business now actually comes from as far afield as Brazil and Australia. We made a conscious decision to start exporting in 2007. Uh, at that point, the export market for us was represented less than 5% of the business. Uh, last year, that represented 51% of the business. We wanted to put our products to a further wider audience around the world, uh, and I think we've been successful with that, and that's what's driven the growth of the business. And they're not the only ones representing the region globally. Figures from Derbyshire and Nottinghamshire Chamber of Commerce from the experiences of over 350 local businesses show a 38% increase in export sales in the last quarter of 2013, with businesses reporting a 20% increase in sales in Asia and the EU. And looking ahead to the first three months of this year, 34% reported an increase in advanced orders and bookings. 2013 was an uh, improving year for exports and we believe that 2014 will be a much stronger year. More companies are looking at international opportunities and because of the World Wide Web, more companies are having demand for their goods and services. And one of the uh, fantastic things about the East Midlands is actually we produce and make really good products which there is demand all around the world for. We can use companies like this to show other companies that it's possible to do it and that it's, uh, it, it is, I won't say it's easy, uh, it's, it's not easy to export, to go and find new markets, but it's rewarding. What stage are you at at the moment? Uh, well, that's not long, just started. It's probably about Much of this workforce has been trained in the East Midlands, a trend the firm is keen to continue. It's hopeful its global success will help bring more local engineers on board. Nancy Cole, ITV News, Ashbourne in Derbyshire.